morning guys today is sunday normally on a sunday i take a rest day and i don't really do much but this week has been a bit up and down to say the least i started off the week really really well i was going to do a video about it because i was so happy because finally after four years i am now an official Gymshark athlete and I'm so proud to be working with the company and to be continuing to work with the company and that I've finally been made official as an athlete. I'm excited for what's to come with Gymshark, photo shoots, events, I'm going to be writing blogs, you're going to see a lot more of me on social media with them. I was just so happy everything seems to be coming together. I've launched my cooking channel, it's going really well, you guys are watching it, you're liking the videos, you're commenting, I'm really happy. If you haven't checked it out already, do it now, the link is below. Even Gymshark, as a gift, sent me a new microphone for when I'm doing my cooking recipes so that it's even more professional and looks even better and it just like it just warmed my little black soul. On Wednesday it was Lex and I's four year anniversary we've met each other four years ago we were gonna do something nice not something spectacular we're just gonna go for coffee have a nice day go train but that was all put on hold because on the same day Lex got a letter in the post from our landlord saying that um, we have two months to find somewhere new to live because he's selling the beautiful house that I, I love this house. It's the, I've said it before in videos, but it's the first place I've ever lived that I feel is my home and I feel 100% comfortable in. And me and Lex have had such good memories here. We have the dogs love it here. They've got a huge garden, like they're outside now just running around the garden because it's just so lovely here and I love this house. We knew we couldn't stay here forever, but I thought that when we moved from this house, that we'd move to somewhere that we'd buy ourselves and that we'd fall in love with again. But I suppose life has different plans for us and it was extremely upsetting on that day. I got very upset. I did cry a lot. It's just messed up my entire week because I wasn't planning on spending my time online looking for houses for us to move to and then realising that there aren't many houses similar to this that we can move to. But we have decided to see it as a fresh start that we wanted to move anyway at some point. We have just kind of sucked it up and moved on but it was very upsetting and out of the blue and I yeah I was heartbroken. But today is Sunday. I am dressed like a ridiculous person. Look I've got like long kid socks on from Gymshark obviously. I've got some, these are my favourite running shorts from Gymshark, they're awesome, they're comfy. I've got an old school vest and I just like feel like slightly dishevelled and I've thrown myself together. But I am planning on doing cardio so I'm gonna get sweaty and everything. I came downstairs and Lex had gone out to the cinema with his best friend last night. I was just feeling a bit sorry for myself so I went to bed early and when I got up this morning, time flies when you're happy. And he obviously got me something in Harvey Nix, so let's see what he got me. It's in a dust bag, that means it's a handbag. He got it for me. Oh my god. What did daddy do, Roxy? My friends for my 30th birthday had got me a voucher for me to buy a new market handbag. Bailey, one night, decided that it looked quite tasty and she chewed all my lovely Marc Jacobs handbag and it wasn't even just that it was a handbag it was that it was like just a reminder of my friends and everything so I was very angry at Bailey she feels bad about it now so we won't be mad at her anymore daddy got me this one I was actually planning on buying it for myself as a treat for becoming an athlete but Lex obviously decided to cheer me up because I've had a poop week this is why Lex is awesome so right now I'm going to feed these two maniacs. I'm going to put in some footage from the other day of when I went to Asda and picked up loads of cool little things in Asda. This is why I don't go to the supermarket and I do my shopping online because I went in to get milk and like coconut almond milk and came out with like three massive bagfuls of groceries. I've just come in from Asda and as you know, I normally do my Asda shopping online. But today I need to go to the supermarket because they substituted my coconut almond milk. Long story short, had to go to the actual store. I've made a few amazing discoveries. So number one, I have found this, Blend Bros. Now these are sugar-free 
condiments, guilt-free dipping and marinating. So they have a peri-peri sauce, they have a smoky barbecue sauce, they have a sweet chilli sauce and they also have a ketchup. The macros on them are amazing! Per 100 on the sweet chilli sauce, 3.7 grams of carbs. I don't even know how they're doing it. It's like some form of magic. There's only 1.7 grams of fat per 100. Per 100! There's no way you'd have more than like 20 grams. Other discovery, mini baby gherkins. I love pickles and these are mini so you can literally just snack on them. I'll probably dip them in my free sauce. Next discovery, maple mini bagels from the New York bakery. These are 18.7 grams of carbs for a little mini bagel. And they're like maple flavored so I'm thinking delicious. And then we have some protein bagel thins. Now I love a bagel and I love anything with added protein in it and I love all the Warburton's protein breads and stuff they're just really tasty and it's 23.5 grams of carbs and 8.5 grams of protein. Nice one Warburton's. We've had the pink lemonade from LucasAid for a while. It's zero calorie, it's delicious but why the hell have LucasAid not brought out a zero calorie original? Well they have! I went in to ask them today and they have! I know I'm shouting, sorry about that, but I'm so happy. And it really does taste like the regular LucasAid original, but there's no calories in it. Yay! And then on another note, for all you girls with super long hair that spent ages blow drying your hair, this better work. It's a speeded up blow drying accelerator from Batiste. So these are the people who do the best dry shampoo and it's meant to like speed up and protect your hair while you blow dry it. As you can see I have loads and loads of very long luscious natural hair and it takes forever and a day to dry it. This better work. I haven't tried it yet but I will give you a rating when I do try it. And last but not least for the stinky dog in your life we have a pet odour eliminator. I always use these like little tree evolution things from Ambipure because they just smell really good but this one is dedicated to getting rid of the smell of your mutts. Happy days! I don't normally do favourites videos but I don't normally go to Asda and find all these amazing things so I had to do a little bit of a favourites video for Asda for being awesome. Um, I'm gonna make Lex some pancakes for breakfast because He's just bought me a really nice handbag. We have these ones, they're flapjacks, so it's not my own mix or anything. This is just us, me being lazy, but these are awesome. They've got really good macros. You just simply add water to them. Put it on the griddle and per portion, and it's pretty much a generous portion. It's 3.5 fat and 18 carb and 20 protein, so loads of protein in there. And they're very handy and convenient. I'll put a link down below. After having a crappy week last week and after getting that nice surprise from Lex, I'm going to do some meal prep for next week because my training was off, my sleep was off, my everything was off last week and it was just one of those crappy weeks where everything turned on its head. This week I think if I do some meal prep, I've got some chicken made, I've got some rice, sweet potato, things like that, it'll help me to kind of stay on track and get back to some form of balance. When I worked a 9 to 5 job I always had my food prepped even when I was um, flexible dieting I always prepped all my food so I had it there and ready for myself so I don't think there's any harm in prepping food it doesn't mean you're having a restricted diet it just means that you have restricted time. I'm just making my salted caramel muffins they're on my recipe channel they are awesome and I like to have them first thing in the morning and right now I've none so I'm gonna make some fresh. Almost forgot about my muffins so they're verging on the darker side, but they're not burnt. Hey. Every time I try to record. Husband? Hmm? It's very close for a sick person. Lex isn't feeling very well, but I did make him the pancakes from the flapjack stuff. A cup of tea, some muffins. Oh. You're a good husband, Lexi. <laughs> YouTube saw what you got me. Oh, have they? Yeah. Yeah. He's spoiling me. A little bit. Yeah. But we're going to get a new house. We are indeed. And a fresh start. Yes. And we're not going to moan too much about it. No, we're not. We're going to be positive about the silver linings of the little cloud. Yeah. 
Because there's always pancakes. Because there's always pancakes. Uh, breakfast is served. We have some smoked salmon that I got from Muscle Food. I have some of this light onion and chai soft cheese on a Warburton's protein bagel. We've got some egg whites that I also got from Muscle Food and some of the protein cheese. And I scrambled them together with some salt and pepper. And then I also add capers and lemon fur with the smoked salmon. I've had one of those muffins. I've done a lot of work already this morning. I've also made Lex a nice cup of tea and I'm just gonna get myself another coffee and then I think I'm gonna hit the gym. I'm trying to stay positive for Lex's sake, but honestly, I really, I'm really finding it hard because I just, I don't wanna move. I don't wanna leave this house and it's very frustrating. And then I'm getting all these messages from people saying, you know, everything happens for a reason. You'll probably find somewhere new. Everyone's trying to be super positive on our behalf, even though they know how much we love this house. It wasn't our plan. We weren't planning on leaving for at least another year. I'm super upset and I don't want Lex to see me upset because he's a man who wants to look after his wife and give me everything that I want. And it upsets him to see me upset. I'm devastated, I don't want to leave. It's like 3 p.m. and I'm still in my dingy work clothes and I've done some work, but I just keep on like going on to the real estate online. They're not even going to update it on a Sunday, but I keep on going on in hope that I'll see something. Like we've seen one house and we really like it, but it's above our budget and I don't want to get my hopes up about anywhere because but before we found this house, it took us six months to find this house. But now we're actually on like a time scale that like we have to be out by a certain date and oh, it's just so frustrating. Oh, I don't want to have to pack up. I don't want to... I've got everything the way I like it. I like my furniture. I like... The dogs are happy. We're content here. I just don't want to sacrifice how content me and Lex are in our relationship here. We don't... We have our own space. We, we don't argue. We just get along. And it's just annoying when you get to a place where everything's going good. That it's being, like, upheavaled and change when you didn't want to and I'm an ugly crier so I'm not gonna cry <laughs> and I've cried enough it's really upsetting I know it's just a house and it's just like it's but it's not for me it's not the house it's what it represents and how happy we are right now and I just didn't want that to change I don't like change when things are going good I like to keep things the same so I think I'll just end the vlog here because I, I don't want to bum you guys out and I feel really bummed out myself right now so you know I'm not normally negative and I'm trying to see the positive but it's just really really getting me down and upsetting me and like I wake up to a lovely present from Lex because he's trying to cheer me up and it's just like frustrating I don't want him to see me upset I'm gonna leave it here and I know you guys will like put like really supportive messages in the comments and stuff or maybe if you're a horrible person you won't but <laughs> Hopefully my next vlog will be more positive and be back to where I'm a lady that I'll have found somewhere amazing.